In today's video I'm going to show you how to paint a simple watercolor grumpy cat. You can use my sketch which is available for download in the description or draw your own. I will list all the brushes I'm using in the description, but you can follow this with any brush you are comfortable with. I'm going to use brushes from my watercolor brush set. First I will grab watercolor background and fill the sketch. Now I'm going to use watercolor detail blur and slightly smooth the transitions. It's time to clean up the edges, so I'll grab the ink, but as eraser brush. The next thing I want to do is add some darker places, shadows, so I will add one more layer, select a bit darker color and uh, use watercolor sip brush. Once you are happy with the shape of your cut, duplicate the layer, use hue, saturation, brightness and set the brightness to the maximum. Then duplicate this layer several times and match them all together. Now we can apply alpha lock to the layer with your cut, so let's add some stripes and darker edges to it. At this point we can finally move on and do the face, so I'm going to make a new layer for that and I'm going to do all those facial features with HB pencil and watercolor for everything. We can move on and start working on the cap, so I'm going to make it on a new layer above the cut. For the color I'm going to use a white and for the brush I'm going to use ink. Once you are happy with the shape of the cap, use alpha lock and choose the color you want. I'm going to choose dark brown and use watercolor wet brush to color the cap.
after that I'm going to use watercolor for everything, one of my favorite brush and I'm going to add some shadows and a bit of milk into the cup. I'm going to make a new layer and still with watercolor for everything I'm going to add steam. It looks a little bit too strong so I'm going to adjust the layer opacity. I feel I need to add a little bit of shading and watercolor for everything is perfect for that. And time for cut clothes. Once we are happy with the cut, we can move on and take care of the background. So let's start with the first leaf. I'm going to make a new layer, choose orange and start coloring. Now duplicate the layer several times, merge them all together and put alpha lock. Now we can add some different colors to it. We can add a stem and shadows, but first we need to turn off alpha lock. I'm still not happy with that leaf, so using hue saturation brightness I will play around with its color. Now it's time for the rest of the leaves. You can just copy them, but I prefer each one to be unique, so I will paint them one by one. I'd like to add different shades to the leaves. I'll use the same trick as before. I'll make a duplicate of the layer, then I go to hue, saturation, brightness and raise the brightness to max. I'm going to create a few duplicates of that one and merge all those onto one layer. Now I can use alpha lock and easily add some shades on the leaves. For this I will use watercolor that I have edited. And one last thing to do, I'll add some ground, I will create a new layer for this below everything and use watercolor background. And I'll add some more shadow, I grab watercolor sip, this will give a nice watercolor effect.
And there we go, this grumpy cut is all done. If you think I've earned it, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your support, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.